So here's my TNT that I made. Uh, just opening it up. It's the same observer circuit that I made in a previous uh, video. And right here, I'm using the servo hooked up to pin number five, digital pin five of the Atmega. The LED goes to digital pin six and it has a resistor, I think around 220 ohms down to ground over here. And the servo is hooked up, grounded here and gets power over here. So the actual server itself is using a paper clip that's been bent. This lead right here will make it pop up when it's turned counterclockwise. And when it's turned clockwise, it'll make the top and the bottom pop off. This redstone circuit is just using some copper foil tape with RGB surface mount LED. And in order to close this small gap here, I'm using a little lever. We got our pin right there. It's actually closing the ground so that the circuit can be completed. This LED for red is a two volt. So in order to reduce the current and prevent it from burning out, it has a 330 ohm resistor hooked up to the power source of five volts hooked up right here when the power source is hooked up it's also sending five volts straight to the atmega over here but the atmega won't be affected by the resistor so an issue with using a paper clip is that it's able to move around so if it's tilted a little bit this way it might hit the bottom plate not going through the slit and not popping up, but just exploding off the bat. Also, the wires coming from the servo aren't cut short. So I just, uh, so I basically have to just try and make everything fit. And the wires end up getting in the way of the servo. You can see all the wires just crammed in. And it's pretty tough to just keep them managed. It even goes behind the plate sometimes. I'm flipping a switch. It will sometimes just automatically destroy itself. And other times it will pop without breaking, then pop. So trying again, see it pop that lid off because it's getting tangled in the wires. So then you got to move the wires over so they don't interfere with the servo. Alright, so a quick run through of the code. It's just including servo.h library, then it initiates the servo, calling it my servo. For the LED, I have it hooked up to digital pin six. Then in the setup, I have my servo attached to digital pin number five. Pin number six, or the LED pin, as an output variable. I have it starting off with the servo writing to 90. And if you use the same configuration as I have, when it gets put to 90, it's going to move the arm counterclockwise and push down. After a delay of 250, then the LED turns on. And uh, the way I have the delay set up is that the TNT flashes eight times in the span of four seconds. So the delays are measured in milliseconds. If you divide 4,000 milliseconds by eight, then you get 500. So when it's a cycle of on and off, you divide that 500 by two, and you get two separate 
states. So first it goes high, so the on state. Then after another 250, it goes low, so the off state. And it repeats that whole cycle eight times. After the LED turns on, it moves the servo back to the neutral state. It will just start flashing the LED. And on the last on cycle, it will move the servo clockwise to zero. And it's going to push the paper clip up against the body of the TNT, making the top and the bottom pop. After it pops, it's going to keep the LED on for 500 milliseconds before turning off. And finally, it goes to the neutral state that I've set at 45. And after the neutral state is done, then it goes to a delay of two seconds. It just depends how long it takes to reset it. So you can just have it keep looping over and over again. So once five volts is applied to that mega, it will just automatically run the code. So it's not looking for a button press or any other variable. It will just automatically run the code. So that's pretty much it. If you guys have any questions, please let me know. And thank you for watching.